With its completely unique looks and irresistible charm, the English Bulldog is one of the most popular breeds in existence. These dogs are sweet, funny and a joy to live with, but what exactly makes so many people choose this breed as their canine companion? Well, in today's video, I'm going to discuss absolutely everything that you need to know about the English Bulldog. Welcome back to the Femory Canine Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Will, I'm a canine behaviorist, and I'm the founder here at FemoryCanineLeaders.com. And this channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything that you could possibly want to know about these incredible breeds that we love so much, and how to become a high level canine leader that can raise perfect canine companions. So if you love the breeds as much as we do here at Fenry, start your journey by hitting that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that you'll never miss one of our future videos. But now let's get straight into our discussion of the English Bulldog, a breed that has clearly won the hearts of dog lovers all over the planet. But before we jump into the history of the amazing dog, I have got some very exciting news for you. We have just launched a dedicated channel just for English Bulldogs. That channel is called the Fenrir English Bulldog Show. So if after watching this video you want to learn more or you're already truly enthusiastic about this breed, maybe you're thinking about getting an English Bulldog or just started your journey discovering them, then I promise you that that channel will be for you. So after you've watched this video, there'll be a link down in the description box below you can go check out the Fenrir English Bulldog Show, subscribe to that channel and learn all that you could ever want about this amazing breed. So then, the history of the English Bulldog traces back into a time when bull baiting was hugely popular in England, right up to 1835 when blood sports were finally banned. People bet huge amounts of money on the outcomes of matches between dogs and bulls. The breed of choice for these contests was the now extinct Old English Bulldog, a ferocious fighter and the direct ancestor of today's English Bulldog. After 1835, the fierce and courageous Old English Bulldog lost much of its popularity and nearly went extinct, but thankfully a group of Bulldog enthusiasts revived the breed by maintaining its most attractive physical uh, and characteristic traits. However, the original Bulldog's ferocious tenacity was replaced by a mellow gentleness. Precisely this refined character has made the English Bulldog such a popular and friendly companion dog today. But back in 1886, this new breed was recognised by the American Kennel Club. In outer appearance, the English Bulldog is a compact and sturdy middle-sized dog with a large head marked by deep facial wrinkles. Its tail is naturally short and shaped like a corkscrew. The Bulldog's short, glossy coat can come in white, piebald, fawn, red, brindle or in a combination of these colours with white. Now, adult English Bulldogs usually measure between 12 and 15 inches tall and weigh between 40 and 50 pounds, which in English money is 30 to 38 centimetres and 18 to 23 kilos. The females usually are slightly lighter and smaller than the males. So then what is their temperament like? Well, English Bulldogs come with a very sweet, mild-mannered temperament, but at the same time they are quirky and adorably stubborn dogs who seem to be born for mischief. With their antics, they frequently make their owners laugh, and thanks to their very friendly nature, English Bulldogs make excellent family pets. Whilst usually quite accepting towards all humans and other animals, they are particularly fond of children. An English Bulldog's patience for little humans is almost unparalleled. Now, of course, being a people-loving dog by nature does have its drawbacks. Its kind-hearted temperament does not make the English Bulldog the best guardian breed in the world. However, with patient training, even the friendliest Bulldog can be motivated to sound an alarm where appropriate, which for the vast majority of people is all the guarding that they ever need. Now, their laid-back nature and fondness of a sedentary lifestyle makes English Bulldogs the perfect companions for apartment dwellers or people that live a more sedentary lifestyle. Hey guys, very quickly, I just wanted to interrupt and let you know about our boot camp program if you've never heard of it before. It's the program that as a canine behaviorist, I use every single day with all of the clients and all of the bad behavior cases that I work with to high levels of success. It is focused on teaching you how to become a high level canine leader that is able to restructure the relationship with your dog so that they see you 
as that leader and they know to look up to you for guidance and direction. When we achieve that, we can then finally address those bad behavior problems and get to the point of having the perfect canine companion that you've always dreamed of. So if you want more information about our bootcamp program, the link will be down in the description box below. But until then, let's get back to the video you were just watching. So then how intelligent and trainable are they? Well, as we just said, this breed can be trained to bark when appropriate, which brings us straight to the question, just how intelligent and trainable are they? Well, they certainly are capable of learning house manners and new commands. However, they are not given to performing complex obedience drills, would be a nice way of saying it. Now, unlike the highly trainable breeds like the German Shepherd or the Belgian Malinois, the English Bulldog does not feel the need to please their owners. On the other hand, these selectively smart dogs are quite happy to just please themselves. For example, if they have reason to believe that obeying commands will get them what they want, for example, their favourite treats, they can perform amazingly well. So these independent dogs are not hopelessly untrainable. You just need to be a little bit more creative with them than with many other breeds. <clears throat> An approach based on positive reinforcement will usually work best with this adorable, stubborn and strong-willed breed, but don't let that mistake the importance of calm, consistency leadership because they still need to look up to you for guidance and direction but when it comes to more obedience work a little bit of bribery can go a long way so then that takes us to the elephant in the room and that is about their health and unfortunately being a brassy phallic which means kind of short-headed squashed faced breed english bulldogs have a long list of health issues because of this feature many of them suffer from reverse sneezing shortness of breath and are very prone to heat stroke some of the other major health problems of this breed include things like skin irritations, hernias, as well as hip and elbow dysplasia. Other issues that can occur are uh, elongated soft palate, uh, shoulder luxation, internalized tail, cherry eye, and patella luxation. Also, the English Bulldog is unusually prone to joint and ligament injuries. This is due to a abnormal growth of cartilage, which is a, a structural defect inherent in the breed. Now various allergies, thyroid and heart problems as well as various cancers can also befall the English Bulldog. So to maximise the chances for your puppy being as healthy as possible you want to choose an English Bulldog breeder who tests their breeding stock for at least the most common conditions the breed is prone to. Also feeding your dog a, a high quality grain free diet, if not even better a completely raw food diet, can go a long way to keeping them as healthy as possible. Now the average lifespan of an English Bulldog is between 8 to 12 years which isn't terrible but the problem is that they can suffer quite considerably throughout that period. But then back onto more light-hearted topics and how much exercise does the English Bulldog need? Well this is a very calm and low energy breed that does not require lots of exercise which makes them perfect fit for anyone fond of a sedentary lifestyle. However English Bulldogs do enjoy low-key activities like interactive playtimes or a nice relaxed walk. Now to satisfy their love for entertainment and play a few short walks and play sessions spread throughout the day are quite sufficient. And a really good way to keep your English Bulldog entertained is to provide it with a choice of different toys. This especially comes in handy if you have to leave your dog alone in the house for a few hours. You could try out different smart toys which are specifically designed to keep canines occupied. For example, treat dispensing toys or, or puzzle games. So then what are their grooming requirements? Well, in terms of brushing, the English Bulldog's very short, tight coat does not require much care. Brushing them once a week is usually more than enough. The best tools for this are mitts and soft, natural bristle brushes. Of course, as for every dog breed, spring and autumn are shedding season. So in these times, you might want to brush your dog at least once per day just to keep those short hairs from getting onto your floors, on your furniture, or just covering your clothes. Now, this is where we move on to skin infections. Your English Bulldog's facial folds need daily cleaning. Also, due to their short jaws, it's advisable to brush their teeth also at least three times a week as this can stop any bacteria building up and causing infections, which can be quite nasty. 
So then the, the, the warm-hearted and affectionate English Bulldog is extremely easy and fun to live with. These charming companions are equally happy to bond with one single person or with a household filled with people and other pets. Their size and temperament make them perfect apartment dogs and ideal companions for city dwellers. So if, remember, if you want to know more about the English Bulldog, we've got two English Bulldog specific videos every single week over on the Fenrir English Bulldog Show. There'll be a link down to that channel in the description box below so if you're interested go over check it out hit that subscribe button and just soak up all of the awesome information that we've got over there if you did enjoy this video thumbs up don't forget to subscribe notification bell on that way i can speak to you on the next episode of the fenrir canine show